Okay, so my name is Martin Shaw, and uh, I'm a mythologist, an author, and a storyteller. I have come into story through a long relationship to the British landscape, uh, where my family have been for a long time. I'm really interested in the landscape of a mythology and the mythology of a landscape. That's where I get curious. And so for the last 20 years, I've been taking people up out into the wild places, the few remaining wild places in Britain. And also that led to a certain, a certain curiosity into where does wildness still reside in language itself? Could there be places within stanzas, within stories, within poems where old gods still reside? And so quite naturally, I've been brought back into story as a way of articulating wild information, information from the edges. For me, a compelling story is when you feel a variety of intelligences at play. And I would go so far as to suggest that culturally, for thousands of years, stories in their fullness, in their efficacy, were a form of negotiation with weather patterns, with the movement of the hunt, with the dreams of the people, with the bones of the dead, with the, the future memory of those to come. All of that was present in a story, which uh, can be told as simply as, you know, once upon a time there was a woman at the edge of a great forest. But make no mistake, some of the most incredible thinking of our age is transmitted through stories. Scatlings is someone that wanders the world with no fixed abode. They are everywhere and nowhere. They are 30 miles wide and two inches deep. That's a scatling. I was very proud of myself when I was younger that by the time I was 23, I'd lived in, I think, 14 different parts of Britain. And then as I got older, and, I, and I'd, I'd romanticize it, I'd say, I am a, a gypsy, I am a troubadour, I am a nomad. I was on the run. That's what I was. I was on the run and I was trying to outrun various forms of grief that I would sever from before it had a chance to catch up with me. So Scatlings has at its essence the desire to migrate, but it has little capacity to deepen. And so in my own life, the book is a challenge. Would you consider trading growth for depth?